Good day, Jack. Here's your machine, the Bravo Breeze Express BES870. Um, as you saw in the photos, it's in pretty good condition. For a used machine, it does have the normal wear and tear. So a few scratches and dents around the front, uh, a couple here, but nothing too bad, honestly. And yeah, this will happen to any used machine. Uh, but I've just finished doing the service. Works like it, like new, no problems at all. Um, and this video, I'm quickly gonna show you how to make an espresso in case this was your first coffee machine. Uh, but in case it isn't, this video will just be sort of as a peace of mind that the machine has no problem. I've already cleaned the machine, I've already tested all the fit functions, so it should be good to go. Um, but I'll start off with warming up. So when you turn on the machine, it'll take about a minute to reach temperature. You'll see the buttons light up as the boiler reaches temperature. But you still have components that are still cold. So um, your cup might be cold, your porter filter, your grip head, um, and the, the pipes on the inside. So to warm these up, I'm just gonna run some hot water. Um, if you have some time, you can just let the machine on for 10 or 20 minutes, and those things will naturally warm up over time. Uh, you can also put your cups over here. It'll fit like three cups, two or three cups, um, and they'll get warm because the lid is just above the boiler and it'll get passively hot. But for now, I'm just gonna um, actively warm it up by running hot water. So no coffee in the handle, empty cup. Pressing the double button. Just finished cleaning the machine, so there's a bit of residual dirty espresso water from the from the port filter. That should go away once we do this another time. Or should go away if we do this once or twice. That's better. So yeah, do this once or twice. Uh, I would fill at least half of the cup you're using to get it nice and warm. And once, once that's done, take out the porta filter, empty the water, make sure you don't spill the water, and to empty the water into the tray. Uh, I'm going to be using my scale to measure the input and output. You don't really have to, especially because the machine is using, uh, I'm using the double wall baskets, which are very easy to use. You don't really have to get all the settings correct on the, on the, on the, on the dot for this, uh, but I'll do it anyway. Just for your interest. Um, so calibrate the scale. I'm using. I'm going to use grind size number six. I'll put this grind amount dial on twelve o'clock, and I'll put it on single. You can put it on on double. This will grind double the quantity. I like to use it on single and do it twice uh, because that reduces the spillage and the mess I make. <laughs> Like the machine is grinding very quickly so we might either have to reduce um, the grind size to a4 uh, or just oh it looks like I put it on double great um, so there's a bit of spillage here because it ground, ground it grinded it, it ground double the quantity uh, or grinded double the quantity um, this is 14 grams so I'm just going to Trim this 14 grams, trim it into 9 grams. So wasting about 5 grams of coffee, unfortunately. Almost there. Okay, that's 9 grams. I'm happy with that. Once you get, get your first 9 grams, um, press it with the temper, and then Grind again. Great, that's the second dose. Let's see how much that was. Okay, that was another eight grams. So probably one o'clock position will give you closer to, actually no, this uh, jewel basket will take 17 grams. So that's eight grams here. Yeah, probably on one o'clock. So if you put it on one o'clock, it'll give you like eight, eight and a half. 
So in total we'll be getting about 16, 17 grams in here. So this will take 17 grams um, from memory. So yeah, what's important is that once you tamp the coffee, you should be getting a depth similar to the silver part on the tamper. So bunch it up with your finger, make it a, make it a flat surface before you press it down with the tamper. And then mm, it looks like we have a bit too much coffee, but that's fine. Um, this is what it looks like. About a centimeter from the edge, similar to this. I would say probably 0.8 millimeters, if I remember correctly. Um, you do have a razor tool to help you with this sort of dilemma. Your machine comes with the razor tool. So very easy to use. Just put it in screw, um, or I guess rotate it around. Yeah, do this over a bin or over the sink um, to get rid of those loose loose grounds. Okay, once that's done. So do this after you tamp the coffee. So I've already tamped the coffee. And this is what it looks like. It's very nicely polished surface after the razor tool. It is a bit, a bit wasteful, so next time I would probably dial back the quantity. That's 16 grams. So 16 grams is the size of this basket, I guess, with this type of bean. Some beans will be a bit more dense than others, so in this case we've got 16 grams. I'm using medium beans by Coles, from Coles. Um, lock in the portafilter all the way to the right. Empty your cup. And pour away. So the, the, the machine comes pre-programmed a bit too long for my liking. Um, if I use the default settings, I'll probably be getting 60 grams of espresso. Uh, I want to get closer to 40 because uh, I want to use a 2 to 1 ratio. Most coffees taste good at 2 to 1 ratio. So for every gram you put in, you want to get 2 grams out. So we put in 16, we want to get 32 grams. I'll be aiming for about 30 to 35. Uh, I'm going to use my scale here just to be more consistent um, so I'll be able to monitor the weights as it, as it comes down. I'm also going to time it so we want to get um, about double of what we put in so about 30 to 35 grams we want to get that in about 25 seconds from the bottom press so I'm going to reprogram the button to my liking which like I said is about 35 grams so press the program then press the button you want to program so we want to program the double because this is a double shot then I'm going to time it as well. Keep an eye on the pressure gauge, you want it to be in the grey zone. It's at 1 o'clock. Right at the edge of the grey zone, which is good actually. Um, I'll stop it right there. That's 25 seconds for 35 and a half. 36, it's still dripping. So 36 grams, not too bad, in 25 seconds. Just to show you, it's still dripping. But yeah, it, that, was, that was a good shot. Uh, I'm using a pressurized basket, so it'll pressurize even with, I guess, older beans, or if you're using uh, a, a very large grind size, it will still pressurize. But in this case, I'm using grind size number six. Yeah, that was, that was a good shot, I would say. Good crema, looks good. Uh, almost the right numbers, so. I was aiming for 32, I got 36, 37, that's fine. Um, if you want to turn this into a latte, just add milk. Uh, the steamer works well, obviously, um, on this machine. So if you don't know the technique, it's, it's all about the positioning of the jug and the depth of this tip into the milk. So you want it to be close to the surface and you want to keep spinning the milk um, in, in the jug. Uh, if you're getting a jug, try to get a metal one. Um, I mean, they're always, almost always metal, um, so you can feel the temperature. Yeah, the drum's there. You want to turn it off? It'll give you about five seconds to like position your jug in place. Then turn it back on, and then when you turn it off and finish, it'll take about five seconds, like I said, to um, go back to espresso mode. So wait five seconds. It'll start cooling down. And once the buttons light up, you're ready to make another coffee. Um, and yeah, when the machine needs a clean, it'll say clean me, when it needs a descale. So when it needs a clean, it'll flash clean me. When it needs a descale, it'll be a solid white on this, on, on the clean me side. Um, 
Hot water tap if you wanted to warm up your cups or make a long black coffee. Um, and always remember to clean the machine, so empty the portafilter. filter. I'm going to do that now. Rinse the portal to after use. And if you need milk, make sure you purge the wand. So before you let the machine cool down to express it back to its mode, just turn it against. Use that steam power to clean any, any milk that's built up inside inside the, the tip. Um, and yeah, once you've flushed the group head, um, I guess it would be a good idea to also wipe it. So you can you don't have to do this every single time uh, if you rinse, but I would recommend getting a tissue, giving it a good wipe. There's always a bit of like oils and coffee grounds that are loose and stuck up there. So a clean isn't a bad idea. Hope you enjoy the machine. If you have any issues, please let me know. If you have any questions, don't hesitate. Uh, I'll see you very soon. Thanks for watching.